This next book is called Little Taco Truck. <clears throat> it is by Tanya Valentine and George Martin. It's a super funny story all about standing up for yourself and making room for others. And I love it because I love tacos. Little Taco Truck. In a busy corner of the big city, new buildings began to rise. And each day, Little Taco Truck loved serving up tasty tacos to the hungry workers on Union Street. But one day, when Little Taco Truck arrived, he was surprised to see another truck parked in his spot. Hola, Miss Full Full. Little Taco Truck tried to sound out the words on the side of the other truck. Falafel, she said, smiling. Are you lost? He asked. Oh, no, Miss Falafel said. I'm here to serve delicious falafel sandwiches. The smell of her fresh baked pita bread and crunchy chickpea fritters floated through the air. Little Taco Truck's engine rumbled. He knew he should share his street. But what if people love falafel more than tacos? He worried. He secretly hoped Miss Falafel would find a street of her own the next day. There's little taco truck all sad. But the next day, Miss Falafel was parked in his space again. And she had brought friends. Little Taco Truck crept down the street looking for a place to park. Get your gumbo! Whooped gumbo, jumbo, gumbo. Gumbo! Little Taco Truck shouted. Of course! Jumbo Gumbo said. Only a big truck like me can handle the big flavor of spicy Cajun seafood stew. Little Taco Truck's tires sagged. How will people even see a little truck like me next to all these big trucks? He worried. If you need a place to park, Jumbo Gumbo shouted. Look behind Annie. Annie is Arapas. Little Taco Truck sighed. What? Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Did I miss part? No. Here, here we go. Little Taco Truck inched up the street towards a brand new bright yellow truck. Are you Annie? He asked. Annie's Arepas, she said, sparkling in the sunlight. Everyone loves my warm cornbread sandwiches. Little Taco Truck sighed. What if no one notices me next to shiny new truck like Annie? The next day, even more food trucks lined Union Street. Little Taco Truck tries to squeeze into the last tiny space when... Bump! Ouch! A big pink truck shouted. I'm sorry, Little Taco Truck said. The street is so crowded with the falafel and the gumbo and the arepas and... Hello, gelato, he read on the side of the truck. Fantastico, hello, gelato said. No, not fantastic, Little Taco Truck cried. Little Taco Truck swished his wipers to hide his tears as he drove away. On his way home, he hatched a plan. If I get to the city first, he thought, no one can take my parking spot. So, in the dark of night, Little Taco Truck returned to the quiet city, parked in his favorite spot, and fell sound asleep. In the bright light of day, he was startled awake as the other trucks arrived. Working up his courage, Little Taco Truck blinked his lights, puffed up his tires, and said, This is my spot! Oh, the other trucks are kind of shocked.
I'm sorry we didn't make room for you yesterday, little taco truck, said Miss Falafel. Me too, said Annie. We can all fit if we squeeze. I can move my tables onto the sidewalk. And I can move my signs out of the way, Jumbo Gumbo shouted. Hello Gelato cheered when he arrived. You found the perfect spot. I did, Little Taco Truck happily tooted his horn. It was right here all along. And when oodles of noodles arrived the next day, they made room for her too. All right, that's the end of this story, friends. I hope that you guys find some good food to eat for lunch or dinner today, um, maybe even a taco. I will see you guys next time.